My name is Gregory Steven, and my balls are uneven. <laughs> Do we get it? Sweet. Gregory Cockery here at the NAM Show 2012 for Wildwood Vision. That's what I'm going to call it. Is that wrong? I'm here with Justin Norville from Fender Musical Instruments, who has worn many powerful hats at the Big F. Guitar, I want to say czar. Guitar czar. Guitar czar. Now he's kind of just the czar, period. And uh, I just hope that him and his family don't get killed by a bunch of crazy reds. Uh, it's always a concern. I, I think so as yeah. well. Tell us what you're doing now. What's happening? Uh, basically, uh, what I what I work on is uh, the guitar line, uh, the stuff that we do out of Fender, Mexico, and on the production line in Corona, and kind of just try to steward the ship that Leo built. And, steward uh, the ship that Leo built. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, we're gonna have constant music. It's musical. See? We'll do the Glee version. That is the business we're in. Yeah, it is. Uh, so basically, just uh, new new designs, artist models, specs, changes, innovations, pickups, neck shapes, every, everything basically that's in the line. The wide variety of models that we have, just trying to offer something for everybody, for every kind of musical style. And uh, speaking to, of which, uh, may I be so bold as to yes. ask, how did this American Select thing come to fruition? The American Select thing started really just. Um, Kind of when Larry uh, Thomas came aboard as CEO, and we were just kind of trying to build, you know, some of the best stuff that we could, and we were really working on weight tolerances. Was mm -hmm. the first way we started before we got into the exotic tops, and we were trying to just build uh, guitars that were under, you know, in that eight to seven point five pound and under range. Right. And uh, so we were doing that, and then we got into just some stuff to make them look a little bit more uh, special and high end, and then we got into the exotic tops. Uh, flame necks, then we went with compound radii, designed new pickups and everything. So it's kind of just, we went to every section of the factory, all the areas, and you know, tasked the pickup people to come up with a new awesome set of pickups. You know, the neck department to work out the, the compound radius, and uh, the wood guys obviously to just go out and get great quality wood. We're using hand stains now, we're not painting. Uh, the bursts on these, and we're not doing just two tone and three tone. We're doing a whole bunch of. They you are know, beauteous. We were looking at yeah. them over there. They're magnificent. So, and they're all different. You know, some are really bear clawed up, and some are more tiger striped and stuff. So they're all kind of unique, and they're all kind of works of art unto themselves. But they're amazing playing instruments, and they're amazing sounding. Now, is there any particular reason why you're staying away from balsa as a tone wood? Because uh, that's so light. It is airy. so light. But actually, one of the uh, two of the models, actually, the uh, the carved top tellies that we have, the one with the koa top and then with the maple top, uh, have an empress or polonia right. back, which is balsa light, but with great tone. And with more regal titleage. Yes, empress. You know? Come to battle. <laughs> Fight. Is that wrong? It, it's never wrong. I don't think it's wrong. I think it's right. Well, thank you so much for giving us the loan. Yeah. I'm a pleasure to see you again, as always. 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 Thank and you. we will do battle in the future, if not in the past year. Is that wrong? That's never wrong. Shake it, I'm grip wrong. it, tug it. Gregory Stephen Cock Esquire here with Justin Norville at the NAM Show Ot 12 in the Fender Lair for Wildwood Vision. Take and eat and repeat.